Hi, friends, golfers. Eric Silver, you tired slicing? I know a lot of you are, have to be, because I see him come into my bay all the time when he help. Mostly I'll hear something about, I gotta clear my hips better, or I gotta rotate better, or something like that. In order for me to lose the ball to the right, I have to have this face open to my path. Once you understand that concept and understand it, then you have a chance of fixing it, okay? So if this is my blood path, it is, let's just say I have it a little bit, which would be a little, out in, let's say it is a little bit like that. Well, first off, our brains are well enough to know that, hey, this target isn't over here. This target's up here somewhere. So even if we're not trying to say to, our, our brains will do something to help try to hold that face a little bit more open. So we'll get a nice cut in there. And that's how you put it cut when you understand it. But what happens over time is that it gets, the face gets open more, more and more. You guess what people start doing is open up more and more and more and more. And they're just exasperating the problem. And then you get the face so open, you have massive height, you don't start compressing it anymore, spin is bad, you have high spin so you don't get the distance you need. If the face angle is to the outside and on the right, this side, but right hander, it's slicing, okay? Now, if it's right on top of it, that'd be a push, okay? So if this is over here, that'd be your pull. Don't know it's how pull, but if this would be a slice. It would start somewhat down the target and it curve pretty big out of the way because of the move, because of how far the difference is between the two. So number one is understanding that, okay? That we have a face to path problem. So typically the fix is really starting to work and getting the space more closed. Somebody who slices it is trying to close it by throwing, casting, something like that. And I've always thought that clubs, this is so unfair for people. I, they don't come with something on here that says, that tells you what I just told you. And also says that best golfers in the world all twist the shaft like this. None of them go like this. And it's really easy to think of. Let me grab my little club. Most people know baseball, okay? Um, and if you just think about baseball or uh, any other sport, even if it's hockey where we go like this, and I'll explain that in a second, you would never in baseball go to hit a ball and go just square the bat up like that. That is what you're doing in golf. Look at it, right down there, right? So you get back here and you go like this, but look where the body is, still here. We would never go from the back like this. And that's what you see all the time. In golf is this picture that looks like they're still at the dress but this is actually impact with a handle behind so we have to learn to close this club face now i think one of the easier ways to learn to do this is if i have you know something right in front there and i am taking this club here we're thinking about base out front here okay and i'm just going to rotate it open like we would in the golf suite and then i'm going to come through really slow in the impact okay look what i did i close that club face and look where my hands are my body's more open look where my hands are so I didn't come here and go like this. That's why you could tell yourself all day long to lead with your hands and have shaft lead. But if you come down to the ball like this, you'll never do it because what, what's going to happen? That ball is going 50 miles to the right and our body will let us do that. Okay. So this club has to get more closed and you have to start thinking about how you would do it in baseball. But we're going to twist the shaft where you close it like that. It's called motorcycle moves coming down. So we're going to so let's just say, you know, you have a little bit to the left, we just need to work some closing it. I want you to do something like this. I want you to get your club. I want you to take it and I want you to get it up to the top. Okay. Now the first one I want you to make is get down to here, which is P6, which is your hands are outside your right thigh and the club's parallel to the ground and see how it's behind my hands. Now look at the angle of the club. So it's matching my back angle. Okay. From there, I would turn and look where I end up. Hands ahead, both face in perfect position. Now I'm going to be swinging more like this to the left instead of what you guys are doing like this, this breakdown, this hands, just like this. This is how you'd see it in the video. Like that burst, like with me, if I was going to be more like that. So I want you a bunch of drills like that where you get to the top of the swing, however you get there, and then just real slow work on getting here. There we go, face this. It's behind the hands. It's not out here. I'm not down here. I'm not down here. I'm behind the hands here at first just to feel it. Okay. But the plenty of them coming down behind my hands with the clothes. Okay. So there's a few ways right there to practice it. But number one, I would really go slow and get down here and practice that move of closing it just to get used to it. And then even, even if you do that and get up here and come down here with slow, you can practice just going with little chip shots from there to field. It's not just one thing. It's not just the face. It's not just, I got to quit swinging over the top. You'll find your body reacts to this club face okay so the more i am able to learn to get this thing closed the more my body's going to rotate out of the way 
the more I come down like this, the more my body's going to stop and go like this. It's just the nature of what our body does reacting to this. I think it's pretty amazing. Hopefully those tips will help you stop slicing and come draw the golf. Thank you. Eric Silver, EDS Golf Academy.